So this year, Izuka has been on his big interview run, talking about all sorts of things about, of course, the 30th anniversary of our Lord and Savior, the Sonic the Hedgehog, while, of course, basically giving us no information on Rangers, you know, saying things without actually saying anything. But this time, it seems like he's let a little thing slip in his bid to say absolutely fucking nothing, and he's basically just confirmed that they are, in fact, going the open world route for Sonic with Rangers. So he turned to GameofBraves.com for this article, and apparently, this article is over a month old but people are only now discovering it so he talks about quite a few things in this interview and i'm gonna skip all the bullshit waffling and the multimedia crap and just get to the few important things that matter before we delve into the rangers thing so remember this came up before colors ultimate was officially released and the interviewer asks is there a chance for us to get a new sonic colors series game in the future and azuka thankfully says no <laughs> Ugh music to my ears anyway the adventure remakes get brought up in this as well and it says here so any chance of a sonic adventure remake daddy zook then goes we actually noticed that the fans actually want a remake of sonic adventure but in terms of remaking past games sonic colors is our first challenge which clearly proved to be very challenging for you even though it was a remaster technically we've never had the experience of re-releasing old games on new platforms we're gonna pretend that the classics don't exist of course but so we'll have to to think about remaking Sonic Adventure based on the reviews and feedback for Sonic Colors Ultimate. And this is before Colors Ultimate came out, so if our, if our chances of getting an adventure remake are based on Colors Ultimate success, adventure fans, we are currently fucking screwed. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Um, Izuku also said that his favorite Sonic character is Shadow, which is pretty interesting. I don't know. I expected him to say like Yakker or maybe Drill, maybe Jade. You know, I don't know. But let's get on to the real meat. It says here, are you also involved in the new Sonic title by Sonic Team? Can you share anything with us about how that's coming along? Daddy Zook then goes, yes, I'm involved in the making of the new Sonic game that was announced that is made in Japan. Regarding the new information, there isn't anything for us to talk about. Shocker. Mainly because the Sonic Team in Japan, after the release of Sonic Forces, have gone a little quiet. <laughs> no surprise there, on the new game. Sometimes we can see people saying, why is the Sonic Team Japan not working on anything? Which I guess they're trying to imitate us Sonic fans saying where's the info and shit like that, but it's like we knew they were working on something, just no info. So we announced the new game on its 30th anniversary to tell everyone that they are working on making a better game. Hmm, hmm. I hope people will get excited for the new game. Uh, there's still more, there's still more left on this, but I just want to point out, like, if you just remove most of this paragraph, this is basically what they're saying. They're there isn't anything for us to talk about. I hope people will get excited for the new game. Like, why does Daddy Zook believe that we are to get excited for something when there is nothing for you to tell us about said thing? Why do they believe that they have the clout or the track record to just show CGI and have us get hyped as if they're Insomniac? Like, they're not Insomniac. Like, what are you doing? You can't be doing this shit. Your track record is bad. You know your track record is bad. And you think that people are just going to get excited off of CGI. Well, to be fair, there's plenty of Defense Squad members who are getting so excited off of the CGI and getting mad at the rest of us for being critical and saying, we're going to wait for more info before we start smiling towards the Rangers, aka the game that we know nothing about without looking at leaks. But speaking of those leaks, yes, we had those two leaks way before the Sonic Central that mentioned that the game was going to be completely different and have open world gameplay and this is where azuka basically subliminally addresses the leaks and basically gives legitimacy to them it says here regarding the new sonic game we estimated that the time taken to make the game will be longer than the usual project because the new game is different from Sonic Forces and Sonic Colors Ultimate. And we are no longer following the traditional action game scheme, but we are embracing some new challenges so it will take longer for us to make the game. But we believe that the end product will make people enjoy a new Sonic experience, so I hope people can look forward to the release of the game. So, usually if he said something like the new game will be different like Force and Colors Ultimate, we'll be like, oh, they'll actually be good. That's what he means. But in this instance, he's not talking about quality per se. He's just talking about the difference in, well, those are 2D boost games and we're getting something a lot different, like an open world 3D game. He's already mentioned he's 
he's not interested in remaking adventure right now anyway he said he's not making anything new in the color series so when he says it's going to be new and that they're no longer following the traditional action game scheme and that they're embracing new challenges and therefore will take them longer he has basically just said they're making an open world game it's not going to be standard adventure gameplay it's not going to be standard boost gameplay although the leaks did say there were a few boost levels in there but it has to be something they haven't done before what is the one thing that they haven't really done they've done rpg elements they've done multiple different gameplay styles things like the werehog with the beat em up and stuff like that mech shooting gunplay and this is a fucking first person shooter which i highly doubt that let's be real i mean shadow is his favorite character so who knows but out of all the things that sonic has done what is the one big style of gameplay that sonic hasn't done open world that's it. I guess Battle Royale, maybe? I mean, is it really gonna be a Battle Royale Sonic game? Man, imagine that was it. <laughs> I mean, it could be, it could be lit, but maybe not as a main series game, but as like a side game. But it's pretty clear here that what Izuka is talking about is the open world gameplay that was leaked way before Sonic Central. And he seems to be banking very heavily on it. He seems very confident about it. I mean, there was a, a thing from before, I think I covered it in a previous video, where he basically said that this new style of game is going to be setting the stage for what Sonic will be for the next decade. So they're probably banking on reusing this open world gameplay engine and formula for at least the next decade of Sonic games, which at the rate in which we get them, that's like one to two games max. Nonetheless, he's still banking on this formula to be the next generation of Sonic, just like the boost formula took over from Unleashed and pretty much stayed for at least nine years, right? I mean, Forces came out 2017, right? We haven't got another boost game since then, at least in terms of main series, we're still waiting since Forces. So I guess it's basically a decade decade of boost essentially we had basically almost a decade of adventure style games like i mean games that weren't boost focused so from like sa1 and 98 to like secret rings in 2007 and i guess black knight was 09 we had about a decade of like non-boost ish kind of games and then we had about around a decade of boost ish kind of games so this is the new one from 2021 to maybe around 2030 it's gonna be open world maybe we we'll get one in 2022 and maybe another one in like 2026 or 2027 and then a final one in like 23rd i don't know and then after that they move on to whatever the next wave is at that point again i'm not personally the biggest fan of the whole open world thing like i love open world games but i just don't see it fitting for sonic of course i'll give it a fair chance right but given that it's sonic team making it i'm not even convinced that it's going to be of the highest quality to begin with we'll have to see what happens when they finally decide to show us gameplay but it is interesting finally seeing azuka basically just say yeah like what we're doing is not the standard game like he's already warming us up to it i don't know if he knows about the leaks or the fact that we've been talking about them but clearly he wants to let us know from the jump that what we're getting this time is going to be different in terms of gameplay so we should i guess prepare ourselves for that it's not gonna be more of the same shit maybe more of the same shit in terms of quality but like in terms of like the style of game be prepared for some open world shit i don't know how long i'm gonna have to wait for real rangers news i mean they pretty much already confirmed before that origins was gonna come out before the movie sequel the movie sequel is coming out in april so we're gonna get origins most likely before april 2022 which means origins is dropping in less than six months from now which means we're gonna have to get info on origins relatively soon right either late this year or early next year and i think they're gonna milk that before they give us rangers info so maybe around may june 2022 like around like the one year anniversary of the previous sonic central then we get the rangers sonic central but it's gonna be quite a bit of a wait if we're gonna have to go through the whole origin cycle first nonetheless as much as i don't have as much faith in sonic team right now i am really curious my curiosity is peaked to see what a sonic open world game would look like that is not some random fan game in green hill zone this will be an official game in green hill zone and thus it will have a bit more of a budget put towards it and we'll be able to see if sonic can work in an open world space or if he's better off just being a standard action game but yeah let me know what you guys think about this situation azuka has basically confirmed that the open world thing is in fact true and that we're getting something completely different to the boost gameplay that we were getting before do you think they can pull it off what would your ideal open world sonic game be like do you think it'll be longer than two hours because i fucking swear like if they're doing open world this game better be in the two digits of hours okay seriously i shouldn't be beating rangers in one sitting on my first try but yeah make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell make sure to check out the non-sonic channel the link will be in the description but that's all i have to say right now so do me out <laughs>